Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're here at Petsodome in Hendon and Petsodome is one of the larger uh, fish or pet stores here in the UK and we're going to go in and check out what is the fish stock and all the accessories they sell as well. So let's not waste time, let's go. Now though the store looks really huge, I've heard they only stock a small variety of fish and sell very basic equipment. That's the reason when I've asked a lot of experienced hobbyists in the UK, they don't really shop at Pets at Home for their aquarium products. Now let's start off with the accessories. I tried finding products that I had not seen in India before, but to be honest, I was truly really disappointed. Besides the regular air pumps, siphon pipes, internal filters, sponges, and all your regular stuff that you need for your aquarium to start off, they had nothing that really caught my eye. I didn't see any canister filters or any planet tank lights or any advanced equipment. Marine equipment, uh, I don't think so. They stocked anyway, so I didn't see any marine. Their additives and medications, however, was uh, fair, stocked fair enough. They had API, they had Tetra. They also had this brand called Love Fish that I haven't used before, but I'm going to be trying that soon. Uh, I'll also share my experience with you guys. Uh, they had quite a few products. One of my favorite products here was the Hikari. Uh, Vibrabytes, that is something I'm used to and that is something I recommend as well. Other than that, on the other side, they had these small 15 litre kids aquariums that I really don't recommend. Just get your children real aquariums so they learn the hobby properly. Uh, I really like this uh, SpongeBob uh, tank though. This is one section that as an experienced hobbyist, I really, really hated. Seeing this uh, colorful gravel really makes my blood boil. This is not something safe, though they, they advertise that it is safe. I've never seen one that doesn't leach out color. They also had a lot of these fake plastic plants and the glow in the dark uh, toys as well that I don't know if you're a beginner, maybe you like it, but that's not something I like. I like live plants. So here's what they have to offer in their live plants section, just a few uh fertilizers a few substrates and the co2 the diy co2 by tropica they also have some tropica uh tissue culture plants here not a huge variety just a few uh varieties here and almost all are out of stock as well i also met this romanian uh, hobbyist and we were talking about how dirty the tanks were and how they weren't maintained really well i mean just have a look at the glasses they were covered with algae and with such a big store, you know, you expect the tanks to be in pristine condition because they might just be having uh, that much of staff power, right? But that's not the case. Literally every tank needed to be siphoned and the glasses need to be cleaned. Uh, they actually need dedicated staff to clean the tanks, to be honest. Also, the fish variety is really limited. I guess they have tried to keep a small and easy fish variety. Uh, there were guppies, mollies, a few barbs, loaches. Uh, and some goldfish as well. They didn't have any cichlids, no arowanas, no monster fish at all. Uh, just these small uh, tetra and other tiny fish. Now I noticed a very big flaw about their filtration system. They run multiple tanks in one sump. That means if one fish unfortunately gets a disease or gets sick, the water will spread to the other tanks and uh, there's a chance that this disease will spread to the other fish as well. This makes the possibility of getting a sick fish right from the store very high, right? So I'm sure the fish are quarantined before they add them to this tank, but uh, looking at the display tanks and the level of maintenance, I'm sure the fish could get sick. But now let's focus on the good stuff. I really like that the store had some books on aquarium keeping and fish keeping as well. I always recommend reading a book or watching a video to hobbyists because today uh, the internet info can really be garbage. Uh, they had also a dedicated uh, fish packing station with a dispenser filled with stress coat and they also have test strips so I'm guessing they test their water. That being said, as an experienced hobbyist, would I come to buy fish at pets at home? No. But that's my opinion. Let me know yours in the comment section down below what you liked or disliked about the store. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.